Also, you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil and a towel. This owl. Yeah. And then also you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil, some felt. You're going to need the candy corn colors, which is white, orange, and yellow. Got em. You need your hot glue gun, which I have over here, and then obviously scissors, a needle and thread, or a sewing machine. I've got my sewing machine right here. And then this is optional, but an exacto knife, you can just use scissors if you're not comfortable with using an exacto knife. So, that's it. There. So, the very first step is we have to draw our candy corn. Now, you can either draw the candy corn or find free line art on Google, whatever you feel comfortable with doing. Got it. Um, sometimes it's a little bit easier to find the line art, but it's not that hard to draw candy corn. So, <laughs> all you have to do to make a piece of candy corn is they're just kind of like a triangle but rounded. Uh -huh. So, we just want to draw a fun little triangle. It doesn't have to be like super pretty. And then round off all the corners. You never think how hard it is to draw a triangle until you're trying to draw one. I know! Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, so uh, sorry, if anybody's asking, um, there, yes, somebody's asking about your picture is tiny. Um, you can make it a spotlight if you click on the three little dots on the side of Trinity's picture. She, because she has two cameras, we've got um, a lot on the screen. So you can click on the dots and you can do spotlight if you want. So you can see uh, one of Trinity's photos a little bit bigger if that's something that you're um, wanting to do. Nice. Learning new things about Zoom all the time. <laughs> so once you've got your beautiful triangle, does perfect. not happen perfect. We're going to cut it out here in a second. Uh, candy corns come in three different colors, so we just kind of have to section it off into thirds. Most of, my, most of the time my sections aren't very even, but you just draw a line across. So you get your candy corn. Awesome. And then once you've got that, you can go ahead and cut it out. Uh, my favorite thing to make for 
my model horses is the costumes for sure just because you can be so creative with it and there's just so many possibilities it's very fun and how did you get started for anybody uh, that know your story i <laughs> i honestly don't remember how i got started with costume making i started making halters and then it just kind of like progressively got to the point where I was like, what if I made a knight costume? What if I turned my horse into a dragon? Just progressively getting to the point where it's gotten now. <laughs> so, dropping it. Once we have our candy corn, this step is kind of optional. The hot glue does a really good job keeping everything together, but I'm going to sew around the edges just because it makes it look nice and neat and also it gives it a fun little detail. So, am I gluing my paper to the, to the felt? Or am I gluing the felt together? Glue the felt together. So you had two pieces of white and you just want to sandwich them together. Sorry. Got it. So the paper was just the, an outline. All right. So once you've got your felt, I'm just going to sew literally along the edge just to kind of hold them together a little bit better. All right. While you're sewing, we'll ask you some questions. Okay. All right, my sewing machine is loud. People want to see the bunny squad when we do the tour. Okay. Uh, what model is your sewing machine? Um, I have a Husqvarna Viking J20. It's got a lot of words in the name. Um, I got it on Black Friday because the Husqvarna's are kind of expensive, but this is my favorite sewing machine I've ever had. Lots of folks are saying hi to Catcher. <laughs> I'll have to say hi to Catcher when I go out to the barn later for everyone. Ooh, Catcher has lots of fans. <laughs> Catcher loves his fans. So we've got our candy corn all sewed. Now, before we get to the next step of the color, I'm going to go ahead and cut a head hole for Boomerang just so that he can stick his head through. Also, I found that uh, after making many of these, it's probably just easiest to do this step now. So. Oh, good. Good tip. Um, this is where you can use your X-Acto knife or scissors. I find it easiest to use an X-Acto knife to start it, but all you do is you kind of just hold it against your model. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then Boomerang's head is going to kind of want to poke out closer to the top, so I'm just going to go ahead and stab a hole right there. Okay, that works. We're going to go right around there. And then you're just going to go ahead and cut a circle. Doesn't have to be pretty, looks pretty cute in the end, so. Some folks have asked your favorite store for getting supplies. My favorite store to go for getting supplies would be Hobby Lobby, just because they have literally everything that you need. I get all of my fabric from Joann's though, but if it's like craft supplies, I go to Hobby Lobby. Got it. So this is what it looks like when you've got your hole, and then you can see, you can just fit your model's head right through. Like a little, yours was much easier. I managed to you hang on like door handles for holidays. Kind of reminds me of that. Oh, that's a cute idea. So, what you can do is you can sew around the hole as well just to give it a little bit more longevity so that it's not gonna like tear apart in the future. Got it. So. I don't have a sewing machine, so anybody that doesn't have a sewing machine, that's totally fine. Yeah, you don't have to do it, and also you can. Uh, hand sew it too. I just found for the sake of time, it probably should be faster if I use my sewing machine. Well, yeah, when you're in your line of work and you're doing all of these, it's a little more necessary. Yeah. All right, so I've got my my hole for my little guy here. Very nice. All right. So once we have our hole, we can go ahead and move on to it. The next piece, which is adding the color, and I noticed in my promotion photo, I put the colors on the candy corn wrong, so I remade it. It's interpretive. And there's no wrong candy corn. Exactly. It's interpretive. So uh, it goes white, orange, yellow. So don't forget that. You want the corn piece to be on the outside. So I've got my colors right here, and this is where we're going to need our template again. And then we are going to put our template on the orange piece of felt. So as such. And then I kind of like to just slide it to the bottom just so the bottom of the paper is flush with the bottom of the felt. And then take right. scissors. And then we're going to leave the sides just so you want it to kind of, we're going to cut the sides off once it's on the white just so it's not like very wavy looking and just odd. So we're going to go ahead and cut the top off of the candy corn. 
little tip off. Yep, just cut straight through your paper. Okay, I'm gonna make my paper a little smaller. And then, once you've got your strip of orange, we're gonna take our hot glue gun again, we're gonna meet that. And our beautiful costume. And then, we're going to be putting the orange on the costume like so. As you can see, it's gonna kind of interfere with the circle, but we're gonna fix that, so don't worry. Got it. So I'm gonna add some hot glue to the white piece of the felt. And then take our orange, just stick it on there. So it's actually like a triple layer at the bottom. It is, yes. If I turn it to the back, you can see that the orange is sticking out on all the sides, which I like doing it this way because sometimes oh, I would out. cut it and then you would see like the whole white edge and then it just didn't really look very candy, cor candy corny. So now what you're going to do before we get to the sewing step is we're going to take our scissors and just cut along the edge just so that the orange is going to be kind of overhanging the white a little bit on the back side. Okay. I go through a lot of felt on these costumes. I have that. <laughs> so it's going to look kind of like this. And then you can see the, uh, we got to deal with the hole now. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors or your exacto knife and then just cut so that the orange is flush with the hole again. So anybody that's following along with us. If you've gotten a little behind, don't worry, we are recording and we will post the videos up to the same exact site you found the link in just a little bit um, so that you can go back and catch up. And if anybody has any questions about anything, I try to do my best with explaining, but sometimes what makes sense to me might not make sense to somebody else. Exactly. And we have a little bit of time, I think, at the end, and so for some more questions, but people have been really great and they're already asking right along as we're going, so I think we'll be in good shape. Very nice. So now, once we've got the orange on, this should give people time to catch up because I have to change my thread and everything. So now we're going to go ahead and sew the orange onto the costume. And we're going to do it the exact same way that we sewed the white on, and we're just going to follow the edge of the fabric so that we can have the fun little design of the stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. I'm going to trim up my white a little here. Yellow. 